Yeah. I might put some rocks at the end of you. No, just a cap and chin off. Mm. Uh, yeah. Put the salt out. No great rush. Get the blue boxer. Feel this a weak kit. Oh. Good morning folks and welcome back. This weekend I'm out with Claire. Yeah. And what we're doing this weekend, we're out for an overnight camp. Um, it's a bit of a special one this weekend because it's actually a year to this weekend since Claire done her first ever camp. Um, so a year gone today was her first time she'd ever been camping full stop, not just wild camping. And also this weekend we're going to have our first fire in the fire pit that we built last weekend and we've got some nice food to cook, um, we've got some nice wine to drink um, and we're looking forward to it. At the moment we're just rehydrating because as you know carrying winter kit is a bit of a killer especially when you're carrying two people. <laughs> yeah you did, you did. But yeah we're um, going to get set up now and see what happens through the day. We've got firewood to process and what have you. Um, but yeah, we're looking forward to this and we hope you stick around and join us on this one because uh, we're looking forward to it. So should we get cracking? Yeah. Right, let's get going. There we go, that's us both set up. We've got Claire there, myself here. Um, I've bought Claire an under blanket, but we're waiting on it arriving. Uh, so Claire's using mine at the moment. It's just the DD under blanket, and I've just knocked something up there with a jungle sleeping bag. Not perfect, but it will keep me insulated. You can see that under there. As you can see, it's not perfect, but if it keeps you warm, then that's all that matters, isn't it? Oh. We've both got the uh, Army Arctic sleeping bags. I've got the Multicam 4.5 by 3 metre tarp. Claire's just using the uh, 3 metre by 3 metre tarp. Claire's just off and about, out and about gathering firewood, getting a few sticks and stuff. And what we're going to do now, we're going to get sorted out, we're going to get a brew on, and we're going to get some uh, dinner on the go because we're both quite hungry now. But yeah, it's a beautiful day. We're enjoying it. Are you enjoying yourself, Claire? Yeah. Huh? Yeah, there's loads in there. There's loads in there? Yeah. So, we're going to get cracking on, go and get some food and that sorted. Got Claire tucking into her lunch, a toasted sandwich. Are you hungry? Yeah, it's gone. <laughs> Was it nice? Yeah. Starving, aren't you? Yeah. Again, we've skipped breakfast. We need to stop doing that. Um, got my toasty on here and I've been messing about doing bits and bobs sorting out for a brew and I've uh, well and truly cooked mine one side but not to worry I'll still enjoy it just enjoying the sunshine and the woodland now we'll see what this toasty is like well cooked on one side, perfect on the other. Really nice. I'm hungry now like. We've got the kettle on, making a brew. Get some lunch and then we'll uh, crack on, won't we? Yeah. See what else to do with.
Hi there. We've decided to uh, come for a little walk because all the time we've had <coughs> this woodland permission, we've never ventured much further than the woodland. But Claire just here behind me, we're walking this little bridle way and we're just admiring the views and stuff. We've got the moon coming out. You won't be able to see that on the camera, I wouldn't have thought. Um, but we've got the moon. If it stays clear, it'll be a nice bright moon tonight. And the views are absolutely spectacular. We're just walking along the bridle way. And it's looking beautiful. Let's say we're... Was it 16th of February we're at? So we're not far from spring. Um, the weather is really mild for the time of year. Uh, I'm feeling a little bit worse for work because I'm full of cold. But I thought I'd get that in. Yeah, I'm full of cold. Man flu. Man flu. Just for the sympathy vote. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm struggling along. <laughs> but I'll manage. I'll get through it somehow. Somehow. Doesn't help when you're carrying everything and working for two. <laughs> I'm only kidding, Claire's that been absolutely amazing. She's been collecting lots of firewood and all sorts. She's doing spot on. But yeah, we're just gonna have a little mooch around and I'll pan the camera around and let you have a little look of uh, where we're heading. The things are uh, starting to come through now. Love daffodils, I think they're an absolute beautiful flower. And I think uh, when they start flowering, we know springs here. No, we're just heading this way. <laughs> Excuse me. We're just heading this way. And there's some more for the sympathy vote, Claire. A bit, a bit of sneezing and then, no, blow me nose. There's a little water source that comes through the woodland that we have. It's beautiful along here. Little rabbit over there. Ah, oh, he's disappeared. I was going to try and zoom in. But he's done one. Oh god, I've actually walked off the edge here. Now we're going to carry on. They're looking beautiful through there. Uh, we've just come for a little walk down by the river. Looking beautiful. It's quite stunning down here. Looks lovely, looks nice, doesn't it? A couple of little ducks over there. Bobbing along. Yeah, are you picking them up yet? Perfect one. There we are. Now we've got a nice bit of birch bark here. Can you see that? So we'll have some of that. Magnificent stuff for fire lighting. Just put that in my pocket. There's plenty more along here, look, up across the top here. Can you see that? Yeah. We'll have a bit of that. We might have a go at... Uh, Oh God, I'm doing rubbish with the camera there. Have a little go at getting the fire going with uh, birch bark today. We might as well. So I was just walking through that little bit of wood. Getting some photographs of the snowdrops. Have a look at them, look beautiful. One of my favorite flowers. There we go. Oh, 
It'll always remind me of my grandparents. Beautiful flower. As I was saying earlier, we just thought we'd have a little uh, mooch about. A little bit of a explore. See what's around and about within the area. Um, we know we're not too far away from the village now. In fact, we're pretty much at the village. Um, but we'll just uh, have a little wander and head back. Get some more firewood processed before dark. You enjoying your little walk? Yeah. It's nice, isn't it? It's absolutely stunning. Uh, with some trees up in the up ahead of us, we're just going to walk to them, turn round, and head back. That's us back at the woods, just making our way over to camp. We're just over yonder. Go across the bridge. That's us back. Made the start on building the upside down fire. We'll get that lit later on. And it'll build a nice bed of embers. So when we're ready for sitting down in front of that fire, it'll be nice, warm and toasty and hopefully the rocks will radiate the heat out even more. So it should be perfect. We're going to get the kettle on now and have a brew and uh, go and forage some more firewood. But yeah, this is absolutely amazing. Got Claire making her way over now. Well, she's already got some more firewood. Bless her. There she is. I think she's found some more. That was a fantastic little walk. We really enjoyed it. Uh, we'll go over and see Claire. What did you think of the walk? Cla what did you think of the walk? Yeah, yeah, I enjoyed it. It was beautiful. Nice little wander by the river and stuff. Looking forward for the days being longer so we can explore even further. Yeah, okay. oh, we're gonna carry on. <laughs> You're tired now. Yeah. It's hard work, isn't it? Yeah. Right, we'll go and get uh, this duck ramp to the fire and we'll get the fire lit there.
Uh, we've got some potatoes, onions, mushrooms, some tomatoes sizzling away nicely on the fire. We've got some asparagus there, just cooking gently on a rock. That's going to be our starter. And then we've got some steaks to go on yet. So it should be quite tasty this. Looking forward to it because we're both quite hungry now. You hungry, Claire? Yeah, starving. You're starving? Yeah. You're ready for... Have you... What have you done with your hair? <laughs> it's a new look. It's a new look. <laughs> but yeah, we are really, really looking forward to this now. We'll give that a few more minutes and then we'll get these steaks on. Right, we're going to try the asparagus. Claire, do you want some passing over? Yes, please. There you go. Oh, yeah. Bugger. It's a little bit warm. Wait. Ow. It's hot. What do you think? Let's try the asparagus. It's nice. It tastes like celery, actually. <laughs> that's really warm. Oh my word, that's delicious, isn't it? Mm. Mm. That is really nice. Forget your fancy restaurants. Cook asparagus on a rock. <laughs> on a campfire. Amazing. <laughs> Amazing. Right, we're gonna eat this asparagus. We're gonna get the steaks on. Because um where are we at? Are we picking that up yet? That's the potatoes and everything cooked. So we just need to get these uh, steaks on now. There we have those steaks. Claire wanted to try steaks cooked on a rock. So here we are. There they are sizzling away. You can actually hear them sizzling. So it just shows the heat that's in that rock. Um, this is another rock that we put on top of the fire for cooking on. Here yeah, we've got our potatoes and what have you there. We'll dish them a little bit more evenly because it looks like I've got a few more than what you have. <laughs> two more pig, two more taties than a pig. <laughs> but we'll dish them out more evenly because Claire's worked really hard as well today. <laughs> she, she's earned a keep today. <laughs> But yeah, them uh, steaks are sizzling nice. So we'll uh, carry on cooking them and we're going to tuck in. Steak on the rock. <laughs> there we go, there's our um, steak cooked, rock cooked steak even. <laughs> so we're going to get this dished up. They look as though they're about cooked to me. It's a... Uh, I would definitely give this another try, like, I'd maybe just move the rock further into the middle, but just so it has a bit more surface heat, but uh, looks fine to me. We're going to uh, get these off before they get overcooked and get dug in and see what it's like, and we'll let you know. Right, time to get them off. Right, we're going to cut into this steak and try it, see what it's like. I like my steak rare. That's not looking so bad. Oh my word. That does taste amazing. That is absolutely fantastic. I could probably eat mine a little bit rarer than that. I don't know if the camera's showing up so well, but rock cooked steak, amazing, really, really nice. Right, I'm going to dig into this, oh, beautiful, absolutely beautiful. There we go, that's tea done, we've got some more wood on the fire, so that's starting to wear build up again um, now we're just gonna sit and enjoy the evening in front of the fire
What did you think of your tea? It's amazing. Tea was absolutely delicious, wasn't it? Ah. Yeah. The steak was cooked amazingly on the on the rock. Um, the potatoes, mushrooms, onions were delicious. Um, Claire said her steak was cooked spot on for her. Myself, I'd like mine a little bit more rare. For me, I normally just show it the heat and flip it around once or twice and put it on my plate. I like mine quite rare. Um, but yeah, it was really nice, wasn't it? So we're just going to sit and chill out now. We're going to open a bottle of red wine and then just enjoy the evening. Good morning. Last night was absolutely fantastic. We had a nice evening sat in front of the fire. We had some nice food. We enjoyed some nice wine. We were just sat chatting away and having a bit of a laugh. It was good. Really enjoyed it. Uh, going to get a fire going now. The fire pit worked a treat, by the way. That really did radiate some heat out, so that does the job. Yeah, I'm going to get that going again, and we're going to get uh, a brew on and get some breakfast on the go. And I absolutely look like shite this morning. I am absolutely chock full of cold. Uh, but still, enjoying the time out. But yeah, we're going to get this fire going and have a brew. I'm ready for now, like. Well, it's a bit chillier this morning, but not too bad for February. Stunning. Absolutely stunning. There we go, we've got the fire going, got the kettle on, ready for a brew, because we're both uh, gasping for one now. We're both ready for a cup of tea. We had a fantastic night. Did you enjoy yourself last night? Yeah, I loved it. It was good, wasn't it? Yeah, it was brilliant. The food was amazing. It was a real nice night. But we've not long been up. How was your night in your hammock? Um, fantastic. Fantastic. Yeah. yeah. You enjoy okay. it. Right, I'm going to interview you. <laughs> I'm going to interview you. So how was your night in your hammock? It was fantastic. It was lovely listening to the birds in the morning. Yeah. yeah. Were well, you warm enough? You were snoring. Me yeah. snoring. <laughs> I don't snore. <laughs> Me snoring. Yeah, it was really tossed day and warm. Yeah, good, good. That's what it's all about. Mm. Right, we'll get back to this fire. Get some more wood put on there, I think. Yeah, we've got breakfast on the go, just cooking up some sausages. We have sausage buddies. You ready for it? Yeah. Beautiful, yeah. Beautiful morning. The sun's starting to come out behind us. The uh, birds are just chirping away. Nice to hear, isn't it? Yeah. And I'd like to say the sausages are smelling lovely, but I can't smell anything. Yeah. Never mind. But yeah, just loving it though. You enjoying yourself? Yeah, loving it. Right then, folks. Unfortunately, the camping trip's come to an end for us. It's time now for us to go home and uh, get sorted, work and things. Well, yeah, we've had a fantastic time. Have you enjoyed yourself, Claire? Yeah, You had a good time, yeah. We enjoyed ourselves around the fire last night. Nice walk yesterday and what have you. But yeah, we're all packed up, ready to go. I was set up just here. Claire was set up just there. Um, we've got the fire out, we've got some water there. We're gonna pour the last of that on the fire. And uh, head home, 
if you've enjoyed this video um, please give it the thumbs up by all means please share it and if you if you're new to the channel please subscribe bye for now and stay safe and we'll see you on the next one